Hello everybody, it's Rick Ashpring here, and welcome to now part 41 of my Fallout 4 playthrough. Just obtaining X02 power armor, but we are going to jump back to Sanctuary Hills. Okay, and we are going to... Store this power armor for now. Okay, let's take a look at some things. Laser rifle. Got that. You know what? I'm gonna scrap that for its parts. Security baton. We don't need those. Stalker's combat shotgun. We do not yet. Combat increases max accuracy. Cost more AP. Put that away. Actually, what I want to do. Well, Righteous Authority is already automatic, so I don't have to worry about that. Put a pulse grenade in there, cryogenic grenade. I don't know if I can make fragmentation grenades. We should take a look at that and see uh, what uh, other grenades we can make. Yeah, we're a bit heavy, weren't we? Stealth boy is now. Yeah, that whiskey is weighing us down just a little bit. Uh, we'll keep carrying the seven Tito's. We might need those. Oh, we do have quite a bit of junk, so we drop that. And the mods that add weight. Traveling with you is proving to be quite okay, Let's go over here. Come on, strong. Grenades. So what we need is Demolition Expert 2. And we don't even have Demolition 1 unlocked yet, so I think we need to make that a little bit of a priority so we can make more grenades instead of finding them. Anyway, I think the next project I'm going to work on is to go see... Nick Valentine's. We have Vault Tech calling. I don't really want to go to Vault 88 yet. Uh, getting a clue. Okay, that's the next quest. So, we also need to level up, so let's take a look. We can do Cap Collector 2. Let's see. Demolition Expert. Well, yeah, Demolition Expert 1. Our grenades could use a little bit more oomph when we throw them. Okay. So we are going to go to the Valentine Detective Agency. Hey, I think I'm going to need? dismiss Strong, hey, strong. For now. Take meat. Make human strong. Thank you. What's on your mind? Fist was weak leader. Strong glad to be rid of him. Well, what do you think? Human is like sure. other humans. Smart, but weak. Strong stay with human for now. Okay. Hey. Yes? I think it's best if we went our separate ways. Mm. Good idea. Strong need break from human. Strong go back to tower. Take nap. Actually, you can stay here. Okay. Done that. Let's do a little bit of cooking, though. Okay, well, we just crashed out. Just got back from crash. So, um... Yeah, we should not have crashed there. Hey. What? Um, strong. Here, eat meat before it spoils. You should head home. 
Strong, go back to tower. Practice smashing things. Okay. Done that. Let's save it right there, just in case. And hopefully we don't crash out again. Craft. Oh, there we go. Much, no, because even though he gave us one earlier, we don't have it now, so oh well on that. Okay, now we are off to go see Nick Valentine. Okay. Hey. No shame in taking the occasional, Ken. Solomon can hook you up. <laughs> Word of advice. Never call your mother a cent, unless she really is one. Yikes. <laughs> quick save. Are you here? Nick? Oh god, it's really you. Well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Hey, happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here, I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Trying to find someone who's gone missing. The devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care and baby needs a lot of it. What else can you tell me? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. Who were the Gunners? High-end mercenaries. No job too brutal. They're in the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know, never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal, and there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. You don't know anything about them? 
Really? Some kind of security setting strips or blocks out those memories. And it's not just me. Any synth that gets trashed, left behind, or escapes the Institute has the same problem. Probably some kind of failsafe. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? The woman was dressed in, um, I think it was a kind of hazard suit. The man had some sort of metal brace on his arm. Maybe some kind of improvised armor? A lot of hired guns do that to look tough. The hazard suit is interesting. Not many mercs can afford something that fancy. What else do you remember about them? The man who killed my wife. He had a handgun. I didn't get a clear look at it, but that sound... Could have been a large caliber revolver. Huh. I'm starting to get a clearer picture of the kind of man our perp is. Anything more you can tell me? I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like sandpaper across your face. Huh. Not much to go on. But a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? No. They never said their names. Mm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. You said he lives here? He's still in town? They both vanished a while back, if I'm remembering right. But that house is still there. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. You've really gone through a lot, haven't you? Hope you and Nick find that monster. dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance? Bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. More than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? See if I can get this open. One heck of a lock. Something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? Don't think I can pick this. No luck? We need to find the key. See that platform in the distance, near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. Pretty chummy with that recorder. Huh? 
careful there. The mayor's got it in for her. You ever think maybe you could get a man's attention easier if you use softer words, honey? Maybe shout a little less? Oh, that reminds me of this article I'm writing about the mayor's affair with a certain air-headed blonde. Oh, look who it is. What brings you to the mayor's office, huh? What are you doing here, Piper? Trying to find out why the mayor happens to be meeting with the same suspicious-looking courier every other week. Not from any settlement I've ever heard of. And not from a caravan. Always in and out before anyone has a chance to talk to him. An errand boy from the Institute, maybe. <laughs> After this article comes out, that's what everyone's gonna be asking. If you are done crowding the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. <laughs> I was just leaving anyway. The mayor's receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? I need to talk to someone about Kellogg's old house in the West Stands. Mr. Kellogg's residence? He left town a while ago. We foreclosed on the property and locked it up. If there was something belonging to the man that you have a claim on, you could ask the mayor to hear you out. No guarantees. Come on. Can't you help me yourself? And if I could, why should I? Please. All I want to do is find my son. The man who owned that house kidnapped him. Oh, you do seem like a sweet guy. All right. I'm just going to leave this key on my desk and forget I put it there. Your son's lucky he has a father like you. I hope you find him. Seems like I've been recording this without my microphone on. <laughs> Sorry about that. I've had some challenges tonight. The game crashed on me once, I ran out of recording space, and then the recording I was doing came out all choppy and I've had to do it over again. But, um, uh, the key to Kellogg's house. Now, if we had gone and talked to Mama Murphy, she would have told us about a key that's under the bleachers. Um, but, you can't find that you can't find that key if you don't talk to mom murphy and i don't really want to use her too much because if you use her too much she dies so i'm saving her sight for later when That's it's going key? to come useful All right let's head in you do the honors take a look around kellogg must have left something behind okay so now we're in kellogg's pad and i like to use um Use. I'd like to loot some of Kellogg's stuff here that I can use. Whoops! I dropped the corn down there. Where'd it go? <laughs> that corn go? Did you check out that desk? Yeah, in just a minute. Oh, there it is. There we go. There's a button for um. I'm telling. You. Well, Kellogg's hideaway. One way to hide a room. Yeah, 
get some Nuka Cola Quantum, some purified water. Look at this. All of a Merc's favorite things. Gwinnett Stout Beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. You have to face Kellogg on your own. Just say so. I want you with me on this, Nick. All right. Well, let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. Okay. And with that, I'm going to call it quits right here. Uh, I've been recording quite a bit, even though this video itself is not very long. So, anyway, hope you've enjoyed this playthrough so far. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, good luck, and have fun out there.